So I'm sure you've been there. Maybe you've written or filmed a story that you thought was going to be a fantastic story about something your organization has done. You've put it together, you've shared it, and then nothing really happens. Total crickets, right? And it's really frustrating when this happens because you put so much time and energy into that story that you produced. Well, in today's video, I want to unpack some things that often go wrong in storytelling for organizations and three ways you can get more results from the stories your organization shares. My name is Vanessa Chase Lakshan, and I'm the president of the Storytelling Nonprofit, a consulting and training company that works with nonprofit organizations to help them tell stories that raise money and awareness. Now, through the classes and webinars I've taught over the years, I've helped train over 10,000 nonprofit professionals on storytelling. And when a lot of my clients and students first start working with me, they usually tried storytelling to some extent. Maybe they've told stories on social media, maybe in a direct mail a piece, something like that. Maybe that's been the case for you as well. But what is really happening is that they aren't seeing the results that they want. Maybe that story hasn't performed well, they thought they would get more traction with it, and it's just not happening. When I start working with them, one of the things we do is evaluate their efforts, what they've been doing, why it hasn't been working, and maybe what has been getting them some results and see if we can scale that to get them more of what they're looking for. So in this process, I usually ask organizations three questions to help them identify how to get better results from their stories, and I thought I would share those here with you today. So the first question I ask is, does the story have a well-defined audience? This is a huge piece of successful storytelling, successful fundraising, and successful communications for sure. And it's often the thing that I think organizations overlook. We think that if we just define an audience as, you know, our donors or our volunteers or like the nebulous external community, that that's enough to be able to then tell a really compelling story to that audience. And I'm here to tell you it is not. <laughs> and if you have not watched my video from a couple of weeks ago, um, the biggest storytelling mistake nonprofit organizations make. I'd encourage you to go back and watch that because I talk a little bit more about the importance of defining your audience and some practical steps you can take to start doing this. So as you evaluate your own storytelling efforts, think about did you really define that audience in the beginning? And if not, what could you do to drill down a little bit more to better define that audience so that you make a stronger connection with them in that story? All right, the second question I ask is, does the story have a clear message? I think this is really essential. I see a ton of stories out there that have the potential to be really great, but there's no kind of underlying message that makes that story, you know, compelling or interesting or have a real point to get across. And I think this is the thing a lot of organizations sort of miss the mark on in storytelling is they think they've found a person within their organization who has a really interesting story to share, which can be true for sure. But there needs to be a point to that story. What is the key message you want people to take away having read the story or watched it online or whatever that might be? It's really important you know what that is. And so I'd encourage you to go back and look at your story and think, did we really define a message here? Is it clear what that is? And if not, what could we do to better clarify that message in this story and in future ones moving forward? And the last question I ask is, does this story have a call to action? And I always ask this if the story has been used for fundraising purposes and it hasn't necessarily seen good fundraising results yet because so frequently I see stories that are fantastic, that have the ability to raise money, but do not have the call to action to help the audience connect the dots and then take that next step. And this is really essential. I always tell people the story itself is not enough to inspire action. You have to be crystal clear with people about what you want them to do next. Taking that next step, making that donation, signing a petition, signing up to your email list, whatever that is, just be clear about what that one thing is. And so if you've been having trouble with this in your own stories, I'd encourage you to go back and look and see, is this call to action clear enough? Did we make it clear what we want people to do? Is there a direct link? Is there some easy next step people can take? Because if that piece is missing, it's often a really crucial piece of the storytelling puzzle that will make that story not work quite as well. If you're looking for some additional tips on this particular piece, I've done a video on the story structure and so I'd encourage you to go back and watch that and I talk a little bit more about the call to action piece and the other essential components that make a fundraising story work really well. So much of the success in storytelling, fundraising, and communications is about analyzing what you've done, learning from it, and identifying where you can improve to get better results. And I think these three questions I've shared here today are a great starting point for that. 
If your organization has not done an audit like this before and it's storytelling or communications, think about this as a great starting place. I'd encourage you to try it. And let me know in the comments below if it's something you're thinking about trying and maybe even this summer penciling in some time to do this for yourself. And if you're looking for some additional storytelling resources, I've got a brand new storytelling success checklist that I'd encourage you to download. You'll find a link just below this video. You can grab that and it'll help you walk through more tips and tricks to telling great stories that stand out. If you've enjoyed this video, be sure to like it and subscribe here to our YouTube channel. I share brand new tutorials each and every week on fundraising, communications, and of course, storytelling. You can hit the button in the lower right-hand corner of the screen. Thanks so much for tuning in.